Hello everyone, welcome back to my new video in the series of uh, Verita Solution. Uh, as you have been following this, uh, I've been uh, doing a uh, net backup video and in today's class I'll be talking about the advanced risk option. Uh, so if you've been following this, I'm using the same two server that I've been using in the entire uh, track. Uh, I'm running two domain controller. I'm running two servers. One is a domain controller, and the other, uh, other one is net backup server, which is acting as a master and media server too. The name of my domain is Sharma.local. I'm running on this uh, machine on my Hyper-V. So let me go back, go to my net backup server, and open the administration console. Now the first thing you have to do when it comes to uh, creating the advanced disk option is that you have to assign the media server. So what you can do is you can highlight the master server by going on to the vnv.sharma.local and you can go to configure disk storage server and you will select the advanced disk option because that is what we are configuring. Since I've already configured, uh, it will tell you the storage server type which is advanced disk, the storage server name which is vnb and the media server name which is vnb.sharma.local. Since I've already configured this one, let me come out of this. And the next thing you have to do is you have to configure the disk pool. So you'll select configure disk pool and the storage server type is advanced disk which we want and we'll highlight the name of our storage server which we created. Let's hit next. And in the advanced disk option we want to have two drives. So I have created JNK drive and it is having 10 gig each. So in total the total disk pool size will be close to 20 gig. You hit next and you can give the name. So I'll give the name my advanced disk. You can change the high and low watermark uh, capacity. And you can also limit the input and output stream too. I'll leave it to the default. And this gives a brief summary of the uh, disk pool configuration that we have created. Just want to, uh, from the licensing point of view, just want to mention over here is that you can have two options when it comes to advanced disk. One is in case you're having a platform based complete edition, it comes with all the feature, including the feature of date. Uh, data protection optimization which is known as TPO within net backup but in case you're using traditional method uh, of licensing you'll need to uh, purchase the uh, data protection optimization which will have the advanced disk feature because as you know that uh, you cannot apply storage lifecycle policy to the basic disk and uh, let me hit next so it is basically creating the net backup disk pool as you can see that the net backup disk pool has been created and uh, automatically highlights create a storage unit using the disk pool that you've just created so we want to do that and it is asking for the name so let's give the name my advanced disk and since we are gonna use the two disk drive which is J and K I will mention that too uh, since we have only one media server in our environment so we'll select this one and you can change the maximum concurrent job so let me increase it to six and you hit next and the net backup disk pool configuration visit completes the configuration. So if I go under the storage unit option, as you can see that I'll get the option of my advanced disk JNK and uh, you can you create the storage lifecycle policies and you can tie up with your advanced disk. I hope you find my video useful. I'll see you in my next class. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.